Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we're going to be talking about tasks and lists in Apple Reminders for iPadOS 16. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human. Welcome back. Apple Reminders is a free to-do app by Apple. It's available on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. It also has a web app, but it's the worst web app we've ever seen for any Get Things Done app so far. This review focuses on the iPad version of Apple Reminders. The app is minimalist and intuitive, so it's easy to create new tasks and add notes to them. You can format your notes to make them bold, italic, or underline. You can even add different kinds of lists and URLs to your notes. Sadly, Apple Reminders doesn't display all your notes if they're too long. Perhaps they should consider adding a word count limit or a scrolling bar so we can read our notes from the lists without needing to edit the notes. The new customizable toolbar in iPadOS 16 lets you add as many images and scans as you like. What are the chances you'll need to attach more than 10 photos for one task? You can flag your task and add a due date to it. Even better, you can use natural phrases like tomorrow, next month, or next week to quickly set dates for your tasks. It's fast and convenient, especially when coupled with the iPad's predictive feature. The accuracy of natural language in Apple Reminders is impressive. With a bit more time on your hands, you can add more details to your tasks, which includes a URL. Apple Reminders has a dedicated slot for URLs, which only houses one link. It feels a bit redundant, now that we can add a lot more links to our notes. If you like beautiful thumbnails and you don't use a lot of links, maybe it makes sense to use the URL slot for your task. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. You can also add a due date and time with repeating options that can be as frequent as hourly repeats. Apple Reminders is the only to-do app we know so far that offers hourly repeats. However, it doesn't support repeating your task a certain number of days after you've completed it, which we hope to see in the future. Lastly, you can set when your repeat ends. You can also add tags, flags, and priorities which help you organize your tasks in Apple Reminders. Priorities in Apple Reminders are easy to understand and we love them. The last thing you can do is move your task to different lists. In case your task is in the wrong list, you can quickly move it to the right one. Apple Reminders has an option for you to set location-based reminders to get notified when leaving or arriving at specific places or when getting in or out of the car. This can be more useful than date-based reminders and we hope more Get Things Done apps can add this feature. If you use this feature often, you can add it to the customizable toolbar for easier access, which is awesome. Message-based reminders notify you when messaging someone in messages. Do you keep forgetting to talk to someone about something important? 
quickly set a reminder for it and be reminded next time you text them. We hope this feature spreads to other messaging apps like WhatsApp and Telegram, for example. When a task is complicated, you can create subtasks for it. Subtasks can be as detailed as your main task, with their own due dates, and they can be location or message based as well. It is also very easy to convert subtasks into main tasks and vice versa. For bigger projects where tasks won't cut it, you can create a list. You can choose a color, an icon for it to give it a bit of character. You can even use emojis if you don't like the icons in the app. Lists are easy to create and use in app reminders. To automate your workflow or organize your tasks better, you can turn a list into a smart one. Smart lists use a lot of filters to group all the tasks in your app. It can help you focus on specific to dos without wasting time looking for them. For instance, you can choose to focus only on your flag tasks that are of high priority. Smart lists have truly become smart in iPadOS 16 than they were when Apple first introduced them. Template lists save time when you have lists you use often. They are easy to create from existing lists and smart lists. Apple Reminders can even copy the completed tasks of the list you are saving as a template. And you can quickly access your templates from the top toolbar to create new lists with just a few tabs. Your to-dos disappear from the list as you complete them, which we prefer. There's just something satisfying about watching your to-do list shrink with every task you tick off. You can choose to see completed tasks if you want. Apple Reminders dims them and fills the checkbox and moves them to the bottom of the list. We're still waiting for the app to start striking out completed tasks. Is the most logical thing to do for a to-do app. We'll be covering organization of your to-dos in a different video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. What features do you like most in Apple Reminders? We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.